Hello and welcome to the episode 125 of What A Fab Day. I am your host, Simon Mas. A name change, the tiring continuation of the filming for Help, and the recording of two guitar solos are some of the highlights of the show. Let's start with the 5th of May 1960. According to Beatles historian Mark Lewson, it was on this day that Brian Kasser, leader of the Casanovas, convinced promoter Alan Williams to secure drummer Tommy Moore's services for the Beatles. The band needed a drummer to prepare for forthcoming engagements in Scotland, and, according to Kasser, Moore could complement the band well. Kassar also urged the band to change name, declaring that Beatles, B-E-A-T-A-L-S, was ridiculous. He proposed Long John and the Silver Beatles, but since John Lennon refused to be called Long John, the band settled for the Silver Beatles. One year later, in 1961, we have the 35th night of residency at the Top 10 Club. The Beatles now featured Pete Best on drums, and this was their second residency in Hamburg, West Germany. In 1962, the Beatles, still with Pete Best on drums, were busy with their third Hamburg residency, this time at the Star Club. Last day of exterior sequence filming for the Beatles' help in 1965. Looking fatigued and a bit weather-beaten, the Fabs returned to their base at the Androbus Arms Hotel in Amesbury, Wiltshire, and started to get ready for their return to London. Funnily enough, instead, I return to remind you to please visit www.simonmas.com support if you like this podcast and would like to give me a hand to create more music-related content to be put on the internet. You can make a lot of difference even simply talking about What A Fab Day to your music-loving friends. Show me how fab you are and let's grow this music-crazed community. More people means more fun. Thank you. On the 5th of May 1966, the Beatles returned to the EMI Studios in London to record some guitar tracks onto I'm Only Sleeping. Since the band had decided to have the recording feature backwards guitar, George Harrison had to devise two solos, record them, learn them backwards and then re-record them, so that when the final tape was put backwards on the existing rhythm track, he would still have sounded more or less like the intended solos. It took him the whole night, from 9.30 pm to 3 am, to complete the whole operation. Another recording session in 1969. Between 7.30 pm and 4 am, the Beatles were at the Olympic Sound Studios with engineer Glyn Jones. The session was booked to complete further overdub work on George Harrison's Something. In fact, Paul McCartney re-recorded his bass part, erasing the previous one. In addition, while it has been reported that George's final guitar solo for the song might have been recorded in August, an 11th of July 1969 mixdown of the song already featured the solo. It was then probable that he had taped it during this session. And with this, we can close another episode of What A Fab Day. Tune in tomorrow for more stories from the four you love. For the moment, I wish you a good day and a fab continuation. Simon Mas, music you love!